Hey YouTube, Shelka04 here. So I'm going to make a quick video about uh, throwing my hat into the Bitcoin game. Now, the way I see it, there's a fork in the road with regards to investing in Bitcoin. That fork, let's talk about one of them, is just going out onto some exchange and buying actual Bitcoin. I think the, uh, the time to do that has come and gone. And if you, uh, you do that, you're basically winding up trying to get into something that... Uh, at any moment is on the verge of a major market correction. Today, a single Bitcoin is worth about $14,000, and there's really no justification for that. So if you, uh, if you take money out and, uh, and jump into that, uh, I think you're a fool. Although, I will say that I, uh, myself, have bought a, a very small fraction of a Bitcoin. I put $100 in when it was at about 15500 and that's more just so I can have my toe into the game and see what markets and wallets and all that sort of stuff are about. Uh, I don't really, uh, I would say that I don't care about the $100, but I'm not going to lose sleep if I lose half the value of it. Where I think the opportunity may still exist is uh, mining the, uh, the Bitcoin. Or uh, for those who don't even know what mining really is, let's just say using your computer to uh, process the equations necessary to make a Bitcoin. If you don't know what that means, look it up. I'm not going to uh, go, uh, go into that. In fact, I'm not going to go into a lot of things. I'm not going to go into uh, vendor selection for the components that I use to make my mining rig. I'll say that I went with uh, components from Amazon and from Newegg. And the, uh, the reason being that I just wanted... Uh, has limited the number of contacts as uh, necessary. So if there was a problem with some of the equipment I ordered, I just wanted to be able to pick up the phone or send an email to one or two vendors. And so that's how I got there. Now, the thing about Bitcoin mining is it's uh, very energy intensive. And so you're gonna reach a point where the cost of the electricity is gonna equal or uh, exceed the value of the Bitcoin that is created, unless of course you've got free electricity. So if you look over my shoulder, you'll see 46 solar panels. Those solar panels right now generate electricity that I sell to the power company. So in your argument of why don't I just keep selling power to the power company, I am in a paradoxical situation of if I sell the power directly to the power company, I only get three cents a kilowatt. So there's not much in the way of return there. However, if I waste the power, if I don't even let the power get down the road to the next guy, then the power company pays me 15 cents a kilowatt. And the uh, hows and whys of that are subject for a completely different video. But the fact of the matter is, I'm in a unique situation of generating my power and needing to waste it. And therein lies the incentive to build a Bitcoin mining rig. Uh, one example of my wasting, or let's put it this way. Right now, I waste power with the uh, air conditioners up there. And they are cooling 120 square feet of dead airspace inside the other uh, building to my left. Also, I run these air condition or these uh, refrigerators. But as you can see, other than that head of cabbage and the uh, the garbage that's got to go to the dump, and uh, some nuts and bolts, those refrigerators are doing nothing more than just burning power. So the thought in my case is, if I'm going to burn power, why not burn power running a mining rig? And so that's the plan. Even if the value of a Bitcoin goes down to almost nothing, and I make only a penny a day, that will be a penny more on top of the 15 cents per kilowatt that I'm already getting. So that's my incentive. What I'm going to do is, and what I've got uh, in the mill, I've built basically just a computer it's got a single gpu motherboard keyboard uh, ram etc uh, a solid state drive 
the stuff that if uh, if this whole experiment turns out to be a uh, a failure, I can just pack it into a box, and therein lies a new computer for us to use at some point. If, however, the uh, the project turns out to be something viable, then I'll go ahead and buy five more GPUs. But at this point, um, at a point in the road where I can, uh, as I said, if the project turns out to be a failure, I haven't sunk too much money into something that's specifically Bitcoin oriented. And it's for that reason that I went with a GPU based miner and not an ASIC based miner. Because it looked to me like uh, if I went out and sunk 1500 to 2500 bucks into an ASIC miner and uh, the value of a Bitcoin goes to nothing, then I basically have a giant uh, uh, doorstop. An expensive giant doorstop, if you will. So uh, that's the plan. I, uh, I'm going to have a couple of uh, stumbling blocks. I'm going to have to try to figure out how to do this via a cellular co connection, if possible. Because getting uh, some sort of uh, internet connection hardwired in here may be a difficult thing since we're in the middle of nowhere. But these are all, uh, all hoops and hurdles that I will uh, make videos about crossing in the uh, future. Uh, as I said, I've got the hardware on hand to start building the computer, and I've already begun to build the uh, the frame for the rig, and I'm not going to make videos about that. If, you, uh, if you've got interest in how to build a, uh, a rig, there are plenty of those out there. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to run in the way of software yet. It'll be Windows-based, just because I uh, don't want to get involved in learning too many uh, new operating systems and stuff like that. Anyway, uh... That's that. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm going to be uh, basically, as I said, mining Bitcoin with my uh, solar farm. And uh, we'll see how the numbers flesh out. And I'll keep you up to date. If you have any questions, like I said, leave them in the comments. Otherwise, please subscribe. Shelka04 out. Thanks.